Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, which means peace be unto you. Welcome to another episode of the Deen Show. We are here making a pit stop in Jeddah. We completed the Hajj, which is the fifth pillar of Islam. You testify that there is no one worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and the earth. And Muhammad is his messenger. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. That's the first pillar. Second pillar, establish the prayer. Third, you give from your wealth, the zakat. For it, you fast during the month of Ramadan, and now the pilgrimage, Hajj, where you see people from all around the globe. So we finished at Mecca. We're in Jeddah making a pit stop on our way to Medina. But before that, we got a treat for you. We were for our special friend, Sheikh Yusuf Estes. We're going to let you hear another story because you got people from all around the world accepting Islam. And we found another person in Jeddah. So we're going to have our brother. Sheikh Yusuf Estes, help us with this interview, and we'll be right back. Nut is for known the sleep God gave to give us rest after the day. And her is for the hijrah, the journey that the Prophet made. And what for we do before we pray to help us wash our sins away. And yet is for Yaomi. Allah, there's only one God and Muhammad is his messenger Allah, la ilaha illallah Allah, there's only one God and Jesus was his messenger Allah, la ilaha illallah I don't know why I did that, maybe it's just, maybe it's just to break the ice the Dean Show is about to show you somebody's bridge to faith. We're right here on the yacht, here in the marina of, I'll get you the whole story about it just right now from our guest, our special guest today, As Jibril. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Kefalik, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Fine, tell tell us you your name. name. My name is Jibril Mason. Jibril Mason. So, but I think you changed your uh, name. My name was Eric Mason. Eric, uh, Eric became a Jibril. Islam, yes, and I became Gabriel. Gabriel is yes. the English version of Jibril, which is Arabic. The angel Gabriel. It's the angel. same one. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Jibril Gabriel is the same one. All right. Now, what we want to do, I want to ask you, where, where, where are we right now? We're at uh, Mursa Halam in uh, North Abor, Jidda. It's a um, uh, marina uh, built by uh, His Highness Prince Abdullah bin Saud, bin Abdulaziz al Saud, the owner. Uh, on this marina, we have uh, restaurants, uh, recreation facilities. We bring many overseas guests diving with us in a company that is owned by His Highness called Dream Divers. Dream Divers. Yes, sir. Okay, now let's come to something that I'm sure our, our audience are really puzzled about. You have a British accent, yet you're here in Arabia, and you're saying some Arabic words, you have an Arabic name. What's going on with all of that? Well, when I was younger in Nigeria, my mother's Italian, a Catholic. My father was a British Protestant. Uh, they met post-war and had four children. I was one of them, the youngest boy. And then my father was working for the Nigerian government for many, many years. And we were with our parents. And I saw that many of my father's workers were Muslims, Hausa people from the north. These are the Hausa people. Mm. The Hausa people, indeed. Okay. And uh, being younger, uh, more impressionable. I, I wondered why are all the security, why are all the truck drivers, why are all the helpers Muslims? And my father said, because they're good people, you can trust them. So then I... So he was saying, more. wait a minute, hold it, the, m the media today is saying the opposite, saying uh, Muslims are bad people, you can't trust them, and your father was saying they're good people, you can trust them. There's another misconception being cleared up right away. Uh, my son was born in Saudi Arabia, He's now at university in England. They will never show a photograph of my son playing football with his Saudi friends. But they will publish a picture of my son fighting with his Saudi friends. No, uh, the media do have a lot to answer for. In this context, especially with their perception of Islam. Uh, Muslims are like anybody else. There are good Muslims, there are bad Muslims. But Muslims uh, practicing Islam uh, they are 90%, th the majority are good people. Just good people, huh? That's all they have to be, good people. Okay, now as a question. Did you become a Muslim? Of course. Yeah, how long ago? Oh, five years, six years. Five or six years five, ago? Five, six years I reverted to Islam 
but I've had my Quran since Nigeria, since I was a boy, given to be my, given to me. In fact, I'll show it to you later. It's in my car. Okay, I never we're going to hold you to that. We're yeah, going no, no, to get to see the Quran, I the original one. Without, I never travel without it. What took you so long to decide to be a Muslim? Because I wanted, uh, I wanted to revert to Islam for me, not for anything else, just for me and my God. And it came a time when there was no option, th there was no choice. It was uh, to revert to Islam, th uh, th uh, to, to the one God, the only God. I mean, God doesn't sit at a table with 20 different color telephones, huh? You know, I'm speaking to a Muslim, <laughs> I'm speaking to a Buddhist. Th th there is only one God, and alhamdulillah, it's Allah is the God. And Muhammad is the messenger of God. That's it. So that's why I joined Islam. Okay, now what happened after you came to Islam? Did people think you were crazy? Some couldn't believe it. Many, uh, uh, even, even I find it difficult. Many accepted it. Many accepted it right off. Many who've been here a while understand that Islam is a, a, it's a fine road to take. It's not uh, the winding path. Huh? Many people did accept it right away. Some no. So, some said, Eric, how can you be a Muslim? You wear shorts, your hair is long, you, you say dude at occasion. But uh, Muslims are people, eh? like anybody else. You know, don't get the uh, idea that they all wear the tahir and uh, they throw bombs, huh? They don't. <laughs> they don't, huh? This is the exception to the rule. So, well, you brought up the subject of bombs. One of the misconceptions that we've been talking about in our program today is the idea that somebody says that terrorism is a part of Islam, Islam is a part of terrorism, but it seems that you're agreeing with the, what we've heard from our scholars t telling us that, no, that's the opposite. Of course, there are thugs in all religions. Thugs? Yeah. In all religions, you can't stop it. So that's your... Well, the fingers are not the same, huh? Uh-huh. They are not. There are good Muslims and bad Muslims, as there are good Catholics and bad Catholics. But uh, no, 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 Islam is not. So you're saying anybody throwing bombs is a thug? I say anybody, th anybody, earning, uh, anybody arming innocents are thugs. Yes, that's not what Islam's about. It's not about killing people. It's not. It's about discourse, about uh, understanding. And that's what we have here in Saudi Arabia. It's a wonderful, a very fine country. It really is. Or I wouldn't be here for 36 years. I'd have left 30 years ago. How do you like being a Muslim? I, I, it's great. I love it. It, it makes you, uh, what do they say in America, laid back? Laid back? Yeah. It, it is. It's uh, the, miscon the problem with the West is Islam's a brotherhood. You are a brother, he's a brother, she's a sister. If you harm someone's brother, the rest will protect them. Eh? That's the problem. They don't understand that. If you hurt one, you hurt all. No, it's a brotherhood. It really is. It really is. And it's very nice to know that. Okay, I've got another question for you. Go Five on. years you've been Muslim now. Mm. Have you had, you're here in Jeddah right now in Saudi Arabia, which is a seaport not far from Mecca. Sure. The place where they have the holy pilgrimage, they call it sure. what? What do they call that? The Holy Pilgrimage, the Hajj. Hajj. Of course. And have you done the Hajj? I have not. I'm doing the Hajj next year with the uh, Jidda Dawa Center with some of my European colleagues. We've well, all got together and we all want to do it together. All different nationalities, Americans, Germans, French, Italians, British. What if we join you? Oh, more than welcome. More than welcome. I love this. I love this up. attitude. I love no, no, this. No, 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 but you'd better hurry up. Eh? Why it's is filling up. It's filling up. I've booked already. Ah. So you'd better, better hurry up. Otherwise, you're not going to get in there. Okay. But I've, uh, I, I've done uh, Umrah twice on the 27th Ramadan, which is uh, very nice. I visited the Prophet's Mosque in uh, Medina, which is also... Uh, I, I think you're going to Medina when? Tomorrow? We're on our way today. You're on your way today? Alhamdulillah, you will love it. Give us some advice. Some. Advice. 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 Uh, be a good person. Uh, it, it, it doesn't take much. Read the Quran. Get yourself a copy of this book. It, it's, it's, it's a book of wisdom. It really is a book of wisdom. It's a book of ways. Huh? But it's don't have to wait 35 years. No, not like me. <laughs> go, there when you're, go there younger. But no, no, no. When you're more mature, you understand it better. Really? Yeah. yeah. Right. That's the way it is. There's no pressure. There's, there's nothing. Nobody in this country told me, become a Muslim, become a Muslim. Nobody. That's what I like about it. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. And they expect nothing from you except prayer 
and be a good person. That's it. Words of wisdom. We really enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm glad you can say that because I'm yes. not a learned person. Yeah, well, these Thank are you. these are good words to live Thank by. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's not difficult. Islam is not difficult. It's common sense. Why do you bathe five times a day before prayer? Because you're sweating, you're in the country, and you're all together in the communion. Why? It's common sense. Don't eat pork. Why? It's a dangerous meat. Don't drink alcohol. It makes your mind wild. You do stupid things. You know the story about the bad lady, yeah? She said to the guy, uh, sleep with me. Uh, no, kill my child. He said, no. She said, well, come to the bar and have a drink. No, come to the bar and have a drink. He had a drink. He said, have another one. He had another one. Have another one. He had another one. He said, kill my child. His mind was sick. He killed the child. No, it's common sense. Don't do things that can hurt people. That makes a lot of sense. Well, we're very happy to have you on the program and look forward to more in the future. You're more than welcome, sir. And we're looking I mean, forward to chance to be together again. I? Yes, please, come next year. Yes. But book now. Book now. It's filling up. More good advice. Get your name book on the list. now. Get your name on the list yeah. to go out and have a good time and do some deep sea diving. Sure. And don't forget to get your name on the list to be amongst those who enter gender the paradise by doing what? Accepting the truth of la ilaha illallah. There's none to worship except Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. All of that from right here on the Dean Show and the Bridge to Faith. Till next time, I'm Yusuf Estes reminding myself and you about the peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Well, there you have it. Another person sharing his story on how he came to Islam. I'd like to thank Sh uh, Sheikh Yusuf Estes for helping us with that, conduct that interview. And we hope to see you again next time here on The Dean Show every week. You don't want to miss us. Until then, assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. La ilaha, la ilaha, illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. 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 I believe la ilaha, that there is no God but Allah, ilaha, and that Muhammad, peace be Muhammad upon him, Rasulullah. is his messenger. Allah.